Welcome, the topic for discussion is RSNA key hierarchy. 802.11i specification divides security algorithm in two types, robust security network association and pre-robust security network association. Robust security network association. Robust security network association requires 2802.11 stations, to establish procedures to authenticate and associate with each other, to create dynamic encryption keys through the four-way handshake process. Authentication and Key Management AKM services are used for the creation of encryption keys. A total of five keys make up a top-to-bottom hierarchy that is needed to establish a robust security network association. This key hierarchy includes a key derived from either 802.1x authentication or derived from PSK authentication. Group Key Group Key is used to protect multiple destinations. One set of keys is group keys. Pairwise key. A pairwise relationship can be defined as two entities that are associated with each other, for example, an access point and associated station or two stations communicating in an independent basic service set. Another set of keys is considered to be pairwise key. Master session key. At the top of the RSNA key hierarchy is the MSK, which is also sometimes referred to as the AAA key. The MSK is generated either from an 802.1x process or is derived from PSK authentication. The MSK is the keying material that is derived from the EAP process and exported by the EAP method to the supplicant and authentication server. The MSK is at least 64 octets in length. Master Keys the pairwise master key is derived from the MSK seeding material. The PMK is simply computed as the first 256 bits of the MSK. PMK now resides on both supplicant and the authentication server since the PMK is derived from the MSK seeding material. A new unique PMK is generated every time a client authenticates or re-authenticates. The PMK is then sent from the authentication server to the authenticator. A PMK is now installed on both the client station, which is the supplicant and the access point which is the authenticator. Another master key called the group master key is randomly created on the access point or authenticator. Any GMK may be regenerated at a time interval configured on the AP to reduce the risk of the GMK being compromised. The master keys are now the seeding material for the four-way handshake process. The four-way handshake process is used to create the keys that are used to encrypt and decrypt data. The keys generated from the four-way handshake are called the pairwise transient key and the group temporal key. PMK is used to create PTK and GMK is used to create GTK. The four-way handshake process used to create the temporal encryption keys can begin when the GMK is created and installed on the authenticator and the PMK is created and installed on both the supplicant and authenticator. Temporal Keys The four-way handshake process creates temporal keys that are used by the client station and the access point to encrypt and decrypt 802.11 data frames. PTK is used to encrypt all unicast transmissions between a client station and an access point. PTK is unique between each individual client station and the access point. PTKs are used between a single supplicant and a single authenticator. GTK is used to encrypt all broadcast and multicast transmissions between the access point and multiple client stations. GTK is used between all supplicants and a single authenticator. PTK is composed of three sections. Key Confirmation Key Key Confirmation Key is used to provide data integrity during the four-way handshake and group key handshake. Key Encryption Key Key Encryption Key is used by the EPL key frames to provide data privacy during the four-way handshake and group key handshake. Temporal Key Temporal key is used to encrypt and decrypt the MSDU payload of 802.11 data frames between the supplicant and the authenticator.